Being from Canada, I thought I might try to use a little bit of local knowledge to find the best subject for my five-minute Wild Dunedin film. I went to the Department of Conservation and spoke with Graham Lowe. He introduced me to a very interesting piece of Dunedin wildlife, but the only problem was that there's not very many of them left, and they live in strange places. So right now, I'm going on an adventure to find the best ones to film. Hope you enjoy the show! There are so many things living right here in your own backyard. Today we are looking for something very special in Dunedin. Just look around at all the wild and wonderful creatures in your neighbourhood. Have you figured out what it is we're looking for? Correct. Cook's Groovy Grass. Cook's Groovy Grass is discussed in Chapter 3 of the textbook which accompanies this series. Have your pen ready as you will be asked to take down notes at various points throughout this program. New Zealand is a country known for its lush vegetation. If you had to choose a favourite native plant, which one would it be? In 2005, the winner of the Favourite Native Plant Award was Cook's Scurvy Grass. Cook's Scurvy Grass is also a winner in popular board games. Double word score! But what is Cook's Scurvy Grass? Cook's Scurvy Grass is a close relative of some nutritious and tasty green vegetables. Some of the first people to benefit from life-saving cook scurvy grass came by sea on the famous Endeavour. It is named after Captain James Cook, who used it for his crew to cure them from scurvy. It was brewed into an alcoholic beverage for their enjoyment. They didn't like to eat vegetables. Experiment 1 In our first experiment, we'll investigate what is causing changes in the geographic range of Cook's scurvy grass. Experiment 2 In Experiment 2, scientist Graham Lowe will show us how to plant our very own cooked scurvy grass. The first step is to gather seeds from a healthy plant. The second step is to separate the seeds from the chaff using a sharp instrument, such as a letter opener. Write that down in your copy book now. In a suitable location, scratch the ground with a knife or a letter opener. Sprinkle the seeds. Water. A little more. That's good. And scuff with your boot.
it is best to plant your seeds in a place that will be safe from anything that might want to eat them. This will ensure a healthy population of cooked scurvy grass for future explorers. Now hand in your copybook to your teacher or head of class. In our next episode, we will be looking at bikes.